All right, y'all. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> well, you can see we're kind of back out more or less, now nah, kind of close to the same spot we were last video. The only thing was, is what I found last video was that uh, I found it, my bigger fish had, uh, they were coming a little bit shallower. So what I've done is I recorded the trail. We're going to start off kind of deep only because, you know, there's a bunch of stuff up here. But we're going to start off kind of deep and then just kind of we're going to work our way just kind of in and out of this uh it's it's not really a flat i mean it does go up into a flat a real shallow flat but when i was scanning this way man i seen i seen quite a bit of stuff so we're going to start off uh you know like i said just kind of zigzagging in and off this this flat here which is kind of a we're kind of riding the ledge so all my baits are going to kind of stair step down into the channel uh, and then we're going to come up on some points that come out that are pretty shallow. It's about a mile drag. It ought to be pretty fun. Uh, I scanned a lot of trees. <laughs> so uh, I prepared for that. So I, I made sure I brought extra weights. I brought extra hooks and stuff because sometimes you make it through them. Sometimes you don't. So uh, I'm going to get this boat going. And then we're going to get some rods baited up and put it out. And hopefully... Hopefully we find some of the bigger ones today. That's, that's kind of what I'm after. Uh, but like I said, I noticed my bigger bites last time I was out was, was a little bit shallower. They weren't in the channel. They were up, you know, I, I'm assuming coming off of, of the overnight feed or, you know, just kind of in that area where they can move up and down if they want to, to feed. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let this boat get going. Figure out how fast it's going to pull us. I want to try to stay about the target speed last time was about about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 wasn't bad. So <clears throat> we're going to see what we get out of this. We can stay about 0 0.3. That would be ideal. But if not, then what I'll do is I'll break out one of my one of my drift socks because that'll also also help regulate the speed of your boat we do have some current today which yeah we're, we're already going 0.4 but that'll help one to get all the rods out uh, the bait that i got today same thing skipjack as i've had because like i said i'm in kentucky so that's about all you can use uh water temps huh? they're already starting off at 59 so that <clears throat> we'll see what that does but i truly intend to get hung up but the thing is is if you can drag through it like i've always said if you can make it through it that's where the fish are that way you can cover you can cover water at the same time as also being able to fish some of that you know light structure that's down there i say light structure some of it's not but either way we're gonna we're gonna pull through it like i said either if we don't make it, that's fine. I mean, it's that's all part of it. I mean, I don't care, you know, if you're dragging a slick bottom bank, you know, I hope that's where the fish are. But here lately, they have not been to them slick bottoms. So we need to be where the fish are. Fish are where the, the shad have been. And of course, the shad have been on these rock points and, you know, stuff that has structure on it. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to target. Looks pretty solid. That's a fish. Oh, and he just come off. He pulled it off that. <laughs> he pulled it off that snag. He sure did. Because my boy, I was letting line out to release that, uh, you know, the pressure. Then I see my board take it off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, at least he he unhung it for me. Yeah, he unhung it for me. That's cool. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> I had that happen last time I was out. I had a planer board go screaming across the water backwards. There's a fish right there in the center. There he 
there he is. Oh yeah, feels like he's it. Oh, he just come off. My Lord. How did he come off? He, I, he felt like he was in something though, that's for sure. He was in that stick or something down there. And he was definitely in something. That may have been the issue why he come off. Because sometimes if you get them hooked into, like if they're in structure or something, they'll just move a certain way and it'll knock that hook out or you're, you're pinning the hook against, you know, something down there. And that'll actually cause it to, you know, then now the hook is stationary, so now they can, they can work their way off of it. That'll happen, though. But he did feel like he was in something. I'm going to show you something. We're getting ready to come up on a spot that I really like. <clears throat> okay, so let me, let me zoom in here. Now, if you look, like little things like this where it has just a little bit of a, you know, it's different you can see this is kind of a it's kind of a point almost it's just little things like that that i love coming across and uh, hopefully you know it's just little irregularities on the bottom that then fish kind of relate to sometimes so and you never know it could be just one or it could be you know two or three of them stacked up there but we'll see it's little little things like that's what i look for when i'm choosing a route Is he gonna take it? That's gotta be a little one. Yeah, he let go of it, about what I figured. Little one. There's a fish. I've seen this one laying back a little bit, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, wasn't 100% sure. Not a monster. <laughs> well, he's getting really small. I still got that one messing with this one over here. It's all right, this is gonna be the skunk buster though? Oh yeah. One on the outside. Oh yeah, <laughs> I still got this one messing with me. Oh, <laughs> it's just like that, man. You just come across the pod of them. I'll get you taken care of here in a minute, buddy. Let me get your slightly bigger brother in. Uh, don't do that. Oh yeah, he's, so he's slightly bigger. He dips her. Thanks here. Well, no, he's not. He's just meaner. He's just meaner than you are. Well, get over here. <laughs> oh. I still got one messing with this one. Come here, buddy. All right. Yeah. It's a good way to start. Just get the skunk out of the boat with two fish. I'm cool with that. I think this one's on it. Yeah, he is on it. <laughs> oh, man. He is another, definitely not a big one. We gonna get the skunk out of the boat with three fish. Like I said, just come through a lot of them. That, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, he just popped off. You see him? You see him? He's right on top of the surface there. I may have to go back and get him because 
Don't know if he'll be able to get down. Yeah, I think he's good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get him. <clears throat> yeah, don't think he's gonna make it. That's all right. Give me a minute, buddy. I'll come back and get you. And I'll help you out. Let me get, let me get your buddies up back in the water. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, I'll have to go back and get him. Burping. A dog. I see bubbles back there. I think he's good. Yeah, he finally... I think he finally burped. Oh. Yep, just still muddy. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's get let's get this one in. Oh yeah, that one's good. Yeah, he finally burped and went down. Yeah, I'm pulling him out of. Yeah, 44, 44 foot of water, but yeah, he finally went back down. <clears throat> Which I figured he would. That's good. All right, buddy. God, dog, you are stuck. You tried to eat it, didn't you? <laughs> Little bitty old thing. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, I guess let me, let me get a couple fresh pieces of bait out there. Well, that was quick. It just ran through a pod of them. Really wish they were, you know, 30s and 40s. I really do. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, did he let go of it? No, but he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> oh, man. You gonna stay hooked, though, buddy? You gonna stay hooked? Seems like a little bit better fish. Yeah, he seems like a little bit better fish. I ain't saying much better, but he seems like a little bit better fish. Yeah, they might be waking up. We might be in that hour where they want to eat. No, nope, he's not much bigger. But he committed. That's what I like. Yep, he committed. Last time I was out, boy, these, these old fish just did not want to commit. Man, he is all kinds of scarred up. Something down there trying to eat you bigger than you? I would say so. Look at the scars on him. Looks like something tried to eat you, buddy. Let me get that one up here. That's the one I want. Thank you, buddy. Oh my God, he got it. Not a big one. Not a big one. Up here in 17 foot of water. <clears throat> but he got it though. That's what matters.
he ate it. Didn't just sit down there and play with it. <laughs> oh man, I tell you what, it's been a little tough today. Started off on fire. Thank you, buddy. Yep, yeah, y'all still just muddy as can be. I appreciate it. Let's move somewhere else. We should have had more than just a couple little bites. I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to run to the bridge and go check it out since I've never been up there. Yeah, I'm going to toss out one of these drift socks just to help slow this boat down. Because when you get in a situation where you ain't got no current, which we got very little current. But one speed is, one speed is too slow, one is too fast. You can use a drift sock to help somewhat regulate that speed. It's not just for keeping you in the wind or fishing in the wind. Fish, there's a fish. There he is. <laughs> well, I guess there is fish here. Oh. Just stay pinned. I'd like to catch one out here in this new spot. I sure would. No, nope, don't go over that way. No, no, come back this way. Come back this way. Quit trying to go out that way. You're going to get another line if we do that. <laughs> well. He's not a big one, but. He's still a fish. And that's about what I figured, man. I, I just don't get it. I don't know where these bigger fish are. I mean, I'm sure glad to have this one for sure considering a brand new spot that I've never fished before. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah, you're one of the bigger ones for the day anyway. Where's all your big brothers and sisters and everything else at? I mean, as much bait as I see swimming around down there, probably not far-fetched that they're all full heck yeah thank you sir I mean had him hooked deep he's already missing an eye hold on buddy there you go all righty appreciate it yeah you same thing y'all are all covered in mud and of course, thank you, sir. All right, well, that was over 50% so far. Spindle rod, ah, oh, the spindle rod got hit. Sure did. He's still messing with it? Yeah, he's still messing with it. I don't think he's a big fish. Interesting. Yeah, they still playing with it. I don't think he's a big fish, but that's a big head. I know that part of it. Yeah, I think he gave up on it. Yeah, that was a big head. I thought for sure he's gonna take it down. But probably again, another small fish. Well, 
but yeah, like I said, man, I, I mean, I don't know what them better marks I'm seeing are then. Cause if it ain't nothing but small fish, then I don't know. I just find it hard to believe that it's all small fish. I mean, I will agree that there could be big ones down there that just ain't eating. I agree with that part, but not as many fish as we ran through to sit there and say, well, there's no big fish down there. Ah, uh, that one's kind of hard for me to swallow. Yeah, I want to get to that point. Once I get to that point, if I don't catch nothing along this here, then I'm going to the house. There's a fish. Now we stay pinned. Ah, uh, he just come off. Yep, sure did. Just little. I mean, out of 50 foot of water, man. Yeah, dog. I don't get it. No, that's why. When he hit it, he knocked it back into the bait. Well, that'll happen. Yeah, I just, I know that, you know, I come all the way up here just because I wanted to, just that one, you know, just kind of scan it, look at it, stuff like that, which, it all looks like pretty good water. I mean, we've got a good channel. You know, we've got plenty going on here as far as activity. Um, but I know further down, there's uh, an old, I mean, I scanned it too. It's a big submerged bridge. And then uh, there's a big, uh, big hole and stuff up there. But, you know, I've just never come up this way and I wanted to come up this way and look at it, see what it's all about. And, See if I couldn't catch a couple fish. Well, <clears throat> turns out there's a, a few fish, but you know, they're little. All right, so I, we're coming up. I had to get around that buoy. All right, so now I can get the boat straightened back out. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pack this one in. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, like I said, it's every day is not gonna be a fire day. Uh, we did end up catching a few fish, but nothing to, to really brag about. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to come up and start fishing more waters that I, I have, you know, I don't know nothing about it. Um, I can see potential in a lot of this stuff that we're fishing here. Um, right now, I'm actually dragging a submerged bridge. It's kind of neat that I've not got everything hung up yet. But I was hoping that maybe if it, you know, the bait would have fell in one of the crevices or something like that, then uh, there'd be a fish down there. But yeah, based on everything we saw today, I, these fish are still not as active as they're, they're going to be. I know they will be. They're, I don't think they, they've quite decided whether they're going to start spawning or not. Uh, we're still like water temps ended up getting into 61 degrees today. And uh, oh, there's a fish. Yep, yeah, there's a fish. Get out of there, get out of there. He's in that bridge. Kind of what I was talking about. Is he gonna come out? Yeah, he's in that bridge. <laughs> yeah, get out of there, get out of there. I don't think he's a big one, but I can feel him. He's stuck in there. Are you out? I think he's out now. Yeah, he's out now, but yeah, he was in that bridge, that Smurge bridge. <clears throat> Which I figure if I could at least get it to fall in one of the, you know, the right crevices, because, you know, you could suspend fish this. I mean, you're actually running a big wrist trying to drag it, but you know, he's not a monster, but he was definitely in that bridge for sure. 
but it just kind of seems like that whole bridge just lays right along this bank here. But he was in it. He was in it. Well, it's sad to say, but he is definitely the biggest one of the day. Oh yeah. Yep, he was in it for sure. I could felt felt me trying to pull him out of it, but that's oh yeah, golly. I mean that line is messed up. Holy crap. There's another one right there biting. That one's hung up. <laughs> yeah, drag a submerged bridge. Ought to be loads of fun. There's fish in it. I mean, I can see fish in it, but it's just a matter of getting to them is, is, is the problem. So yeah, I know that one's hung up. That's all right, let me get him back in the water. <clears throat> yeah, he's a, right there, right there, right there. Oh God, dog. He had it and let go. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, you run a you run a big risk trying to drag through something like this, but I said to heck with it. I mean, like I said, he ain't a monster. Well, get I gotta get the hook out of you, buddy. <laughs> Like I said, he ain't a monster, but he is, sad to say, the best one of the day. But I'm glad to have him, no doubt. No doubt. Golly. I think they're getting, I think they're getting ready to spawn. I think is what's going to happen. But thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Way to end the day. Oh, okay. Well, but anyway, like I was saying... We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I'm gonna get that one unhung and we'll get everything else figured out. But yeah, it was uh, it was kind of neat. I like fishing waters like this, you know, places I've never fished before. Uh, you know, it kind of gets you out of your comfort zone for one. I mean, still try to do the same thing you were doing in other spots and see how that works out. But like there was really nothing to this except for these rock points. I didn't get a single bite in front of that, that uh, creek mouth, but you know, it is what it is. That's why they call it fishing. And I, you know, and I love doing it regardless. So I still got to go beyond the bridge like I was talking about earlier. Um, I still got to go up that way. But I've got the trailer up that way. It's, uh, it's a little too far by boat. So we'll, uh, we'll get all this stuff packed up. But like always, I appreciate you watching this one. And I'll catch you on the next one.